hold that thought. Let's go back to the beginning of the day. Buongiorno a tutti, spero che stiate bene. Today we're going slightly more inland in Puglia. We're gonna we're gonna be a little James Bond. We're gonna be a little James Bondy. We're going to Gravina in Puglia to see the James Bond Bridge. And we're going to Altamura, which is famous for its bread. And before we get too far into today's adventure with my amazing husband and my amazing dog, I would like to thank the Quirky Club, my incredible Patreon community. You all make these videos possible. You should check it out if you haven't yet. We have a lot of fun. We do monthly live chats. They get exclusive recipes, behind the scenes videos, all kinds of great stuff. And in fact, this video today goes out to one of them, JK. This is for you. She was dying to know what I think of the bread in Altamura, pane di Altamura. So I'm gonna let you know. For those of you who don't know, I did write a book called Cheese, Wine and Bread. I'm pretty into bread. So today is an exciting day. They're all like very small one ways. Kira's breath smells really bad. <laughs> <laughs> we might be stuck in here forever. It's like a maze of really teeny little streets. We definitely should have just. Oh. Watch. Oh, there's the curb. Mm -hmm. Italian streets. Am I right? All right, we found a normal sized parking spot for a normal sized car um, and, and we're here. We're in Gravina in Puglia. And you know, the thing that really brings us here today is the Ponte Acquedotto. So let's go find it. Lo vedo. Andiamo. Oh, questa direzione. I feel like it's just like on the other side of this wall. This is 37 meters. That's 122 feet high. 90 meters, that's 295 feet long. Okay, basta, that's enough. Daniel, you take the scene from here. I'm gonna go get some bread. So happy to be here. You know, I've heard so much about this place because it is famous for its bread. It's known for having some of the best bread in all of Italy. In fact, this bread is so beloved, so famous, that it is protected by the Italian government. DOP status, PDO, um, and, that's, and that's here in Altamura. I asked on Instagram, if Altamura has the best bread in Italy, where specifically should I go to get this best bread? You all almost unanimously told me to come to DJ Zoo. So here I am, this Peneficio. All right, let's get some noms. Cati. 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 Sì. Ok. Come Caterina. Come Caterina. Sì. Molto lieto di averti conosciuto, Caterina. Sì, è stato un piacere. Questo è tuo. Anche. 
o un amico nuovo. Perfetto. Sì, sì. Incredibile, no? Sì. We're gonna take these goods back home to eat them, but this focaccia is warm, so this can't wait. We're gonna have to, uh, we're gonna have to bite into this ASAP. It's excellent. It's crispy, olive oily, really simple and amazing. Pomodori. Oregano, basta. Mm. Buona. This is one thing I love about focaccia is that it is one of the foods you can just eat on a sidewalk in Italy and it's fine. There aren't many foods like that here. Oh wow, this is good. Mm. It's like bari crispy on the bottom and then like... Fluffy, fluffy. Fluffy on top. Yeah. Tomato You've yet to make a video with Akasha where you don't drop tomatoes everywhere. Mmm! Pomodoro down. And of course, some boat focaccia. I keep dropping tomatoes! It's a hazard. Alright, well we've got some serious bread to go home and eat though, right? Yes, we do. Here it is, Pane di Altomura. This is it. This is Pane di Altomura. A part of its PDO status is that the crust must be at least three millimeters thick. Dude, this crust is no joke. <laughs> All right, let's try it on its own first. It's really good. It's really good. It's really flavorful. Big difference between this and the stuff you find in Tuscany, which doesn't have salt in it. This is great. I really like it. It's moist. I like the crunchiness of the crust. This would be killer sandwich bread or killer scottapetta bread. That's good. The middle is really good. I'm not even saying this because I'm like trying to get brownie points, so your homemade sourdough bread is better. Oh, different style. All right, let's try it with some cheese, huh? Yeah. So you can see this shape, so interesting, right? It's called the priest's hat, and it is a traditional, typical shape of Pane di Alto Mura. It's kind of like a brioche, brioche shape. The crustiness of this bread is pretty evident. <laughs> Look at the table and see how there are crumbs absolutely everywhere. I'm so happy. Give me a glass of wine and like, I'm good. In fact, I think that is what I'm going to do. I'm gonna pour myself a glass of wine and kick back after a lovely day adventuring in Puglia. Thank you so much for joining us. This was a lot of fun. I feel like James Bond a little bit more than I did at the beginning of the day. Ci vediamo alla prossima and ciao.